It's a dreary Monday morning, but I'm here at my local Walmart and I want to see if they have good quality crochet supplies like hooks and yarn and notions. I've been to this Walmart dozens of times, but I've never really taken the time to look and see what do they have to offer us crocheters. But let's go ahead and go in and just see what we can find. I cannot believe all of the different crochet items that I found in Walmart and it did take some hunting around. I had to look in different places and I'll explain all of it when I get home. I'll unload and show you everything. I came home with nine different yarns, two different crochet hook sets, and a notions organizer. So we're going to test them all, and at the end of the video, I'm going to share which Walmart crochet items are worth it and which ones I think you can skip. The first yarn that we're going to test is from the Walmart brand Mainstays. It's 100% acrylic. I got the pink blend colorway, and it's a combination of different pinks, some fuchsia, and white colors all blended together. I paid $2.98 for it, and on the Walmart website, it has an average of 4.7 stars with over 300 reviews, so I'm excited to try this yarn. The recommended hook size is 5.5 millimeters, so let's test it out. I'm using my Dots crochet hook set. This is from We Crochet. I really like these crochet hooks. I'm just going to make a simple little sample here to test the yarn, and just see how it feels. So far, my first impressions are that it's okay. It's not great, it's not terrible. It definitely feels like a budget acrylic yarn. I do like that it's not too thick, which can happen sometimes with super budget friendly yarns. The color change is happening quite quickly, and that's not a good thing or a bad thing. It's just something I'm noticing. It's got okay stitch definition, which is nice. It doesn't feel particularly soft at all. Yeah, it's okay. So here are the pros and the cons. The pros are that you can buy it at Walmart. Number two, it has pretty decent stitch definition for a budget-friendly yarn. And number three, the colors are very vibrant if you like really vibrant colors. Now here are the cons. This yarn's okay. I'm not excited about it. I don't hate it. It's not one that I would probably use. And another con is that they don't have a lot of colors of this, so you've only got a few to choose from, and I think that that's a big con for a crocheter. We like to have all the different colors. And really, that's it. This yarn just didn't excite me at all. I just think that there are a lot better yarns in this price range, so meh. So the next yarn we're going to try is Peaches and Cream Original. It's a worsted weight 100% cotton yarn and this is the color Mint. One thing that I noticed when I was looking at this yarn is that on the label it says wash colors separately and in all caps it says some colors may run. Um, that's concerning. I paid $1.97 for this yarn, and on the Walmart website, it has an average of 4.5 stars with over 150 reviews. The recommended hook size is five millimeters, so let's test it out. The first thing I'm noticing is that it's not a particularly soft cotton, so I'm a little worried that it's gonna feel not great with my hands. The color is pretty, though. Oh, this. <laughs> This feels like rope. It doesn't even feel like yarn. Oh boy. I tested some cotton yarns recently from Hobie and the difference is pretty remarkable. This, this feels pretty rough, not gonna lie. Oh, there's so much drag. And that is not from the crochet hook. If you see this looking kind of jerky and moving around, that's not me shaking. That's th this yarn Ooh, this yarn is no bueno. I am, I do not like this. I'm already giving the ending away of my video. I said at the end I would tell you which ones to skip and which ones are worth it, and I'm already giving it away. Oh my 
goodness. I mean, the yarn has nice stitch definition, I'll give it that, and the color's pretty. I have never used Peaches and Cream Original before or any of the Peaches and Cream different varieties, and I am not impressed. The pros are, it's got stitch definition, I'll give it that. And number two, that mint color really is pretty, but my list of cons could really go on and on and on with this yarn. It feels horrible. If you've ever used this yarn before, I think you're gonna agree with me. This doesn't feel good. It feels like you're crocheting with rope. I just, I wouldn't want to wear this yarn on my body. I think it would be terrible for making toys because it would shred your hands. Ugh. There are so many better 100% cotton yarns out there and this one is not it. The next yarn we're going to test is the Mainstays 100% cotton yarn and I'll go ahead and already give something away. It definitely feels softer than the peaches and cream. That's a good thing. This is the color Opaline Green. It's a number four worsted weight yarn and I paid $3.48. On the Walmart website, it had an average of 4.5 stars and over 240 reviews. The recommended hook size is five millimeters, so let's test it out. I mean, already this yarn feels so much better than that peaches and cream. And on the label, I didn't see anywhere that this yarn is going to bleed and run when you wash it. So I, I, I honestly, I don't mind this yarn feels soft. It definitely feels like 100% cotton, but it's it really does feel soft and it's got some nice stitch definition to it. I would say if you are going to choose between this one or this one, the Mainstays Cotton or the Peaches and Cream, Mainstays Cotton. Don't don't buy this one. Just just don't. The Mainstays Cotton actually has a lot of pros. It feels really good in my hands. It has nice stitch definition. It's soft. I decided to go to the website to check into this yarn just a little bit more and I did find one more con and that is that this yarn only has seven colors. And I do find that that is disappointing because this yarn is nice enough that if it came in a lot of different colors, I, I think a lot of crocheters would like this. So the next yarn that we're going to try is the Red Heart Scrubby. This was specifically developed for making dishcloths. It's a number four worsted weight yarn and this is the color Ocean. It's 100% polyester. I paid $4.97 for it and on the Walmart website it has an average of 4.7 stars and over three hundred reviews. The recommended crochet hook size is 5.5, so let's test it out. The first thing I'm noticing about this yarn is that this looks like what Cookie Monster fur looks like. <laughs> Although I feel like Cookie Monster would have felt soft. This this is this does not feel soft, but dishcloths I don't know if they should feel soft, but I'm actually so surprised that this yarn has such good reviews. Why? Number one, you cannot see your stitches at all. This is awful. Ugh. I feel like I'm just crocheting with plastic. I want my husband to come see this. He's not gonna believe this yarn. What the heck is that? <laughs> feel it. The rope would have been better. <laughs> I know, this is terrible. Oh my gosh, this is like crocheting with spiky plastic. You're right, that is Cookie Monster. It is Cookie Monster blue. I do like the color, I will say that. Oh yeah, yeah. Why does this exist? Can you tell when I have some strong opinions? I'm not afraid to share them. <laughs> and if you love this yarn, I don't know why. Please tell me in the comment section if you love this yarn, why? <laughs> why? Oh, I have so many thoughts. So many feelings. What in the world? Who designed this? Who? I want to talk to them now. <laughs> Ugh, yuck, yuck, yuck. I don't even know how many stitches I have. Well, it has zero stitch definition, which I get that. It feels awful. It, okay, let me just go ahead and give you the pros and the cons. Let's talk about the pros and cons of the Red Heart Scrubby. The pro, there's one pro, that color. It's really pretty. I like the color, it looks like Cookie Monster. But now let's get to the cons, because I got a lot of them. This is terrible, this is awful, I don't know who designed this? Who thought that crocheting with scratchy plastic was a good idea? I didn't think that I was going to find a yarn that I disliked more than the peaches and cream, but this one is it. This one might be the worst yarn I have ever worked with in my entire life. 
and it was almost five dollars. That is insane. You could buy, you could go to Dollar Tree and buy some dishcloths. I, no way. I would never use this. I, I cannot believe that this is a thing and that it has that many good reviews on Walmart. I, I just want to interview these people and say, why? Why do you like this? I don't, I, I see no redeeming qualities of this yarn at all. When I'm working with yarns that are hard to see, like textured yarns or also dark yarns, I really love having good lighting. And my current favorite is this neck light from Lumos Lumos. This truly is the best light for a crochet that I have personally ever used. What I love most about this light is this neck feature right here. It's not quite flat. It's got a little bit of a curve to it, but this doesn't slip around on my neck like other neck lights do. Other neck lights go like this as I'm working. This one stays put, and that means that I can keep my light exactly where I want it. Another feature is that it has three different light colors, but what I really like is that when when you hold the light button down, it will increase or decrease the lighting intensity. If you need more or less light, you just hold the button down. Lumos Lumos is also rechargeable and it will last for eight hours. That's a long crochet session. I don't recommend crocheting for that long in one sitting. But what's even better is that Lumos Lumos sent me two neck lights, one for me and one for you. You'll find a link in the description box below for the Google giveaway form. And on August 24th, 2024, I will announce the winner and I will send it to you anywhere in the world. Lumos Lumos is also offering my viewers 25% off your next purchase by using the code Elise25. This coupon is valid for seven days until August 16th, 2024. Thank you so much to Lumos Lumos for sponsoring today's video. This next Next yarn I am so excited to try and this is the Premier Bloom Chunky Big Yarn. Premier is one of my favorite yarn brands and this one just caught my eye. Look at those beautiful colors. The Premier Bloom Chunky Big is a self-striping floral yarn. It's a number five bulky weight yarn. I paid $5.97 and this is the color Snapdragon. It has an average of 4.7 stars and over 220 reviews. I ended up going to the Premier website to find out more information about the self-striping floral effect that this yarn can do, and I would highly recommend that if you are going to use this yarn, especially if you want to do that floral effect, because you need to match your gauge, and it also recommends that you're using single crochet to do that. But for the purposes of this video, we're just going to test it out by making a little sample, but we're not going to be testing the floral design because that's going to take too much time, and Mama ain't got time for that today. First thing I'm noticing is that the yarn is very soft and these colors are just, they're beautiful. I'm not used to using a big crochet hook like this and such thick yarn, but this feels really nice in my hands. This looks so pretty. It's got some nice stitch definition and it feels so soft. I'm not surprised that I loved this yarn. Premier is such a fantastic yarn company. They always put out really quality yarns. So I was just excited to see that this was at my local Walmart. And so the pros are that it's soft. The colors are absolutely beautiful. It's got nice stitch definition. The only con, and I don't even know if you could call this a con, is that if you want to do that little floral design, you're going to need to spend some time, go to the website and just look at what you're going to need to do to to get that little flower effect. It's really, really pretty, but I, yeah, this one's great. The next yarn is one that I am so excited to test, and that is the Lion Brand Mandala. I have never tried this yarn before. It is super popular, and so I am so excited to try it. This is such a popular yarn, and there are so many gorgeous patterns featuring it, and this is the colorway Groot. Look how beautiful those colors are. This is a self-striping yarn, and it has an average of 4.5 stars with over 160 reviews on walmart.com. It's a number three lightweight yarn and I paid $5.37. It's 100% acrylic and the recommended crochet hook size is a five millimeter, so let's test it out. This is such a nice yarn. I can already see why it's so popular, why people like working with it. It feels really nice. It's soft. It's just gliding through this crochet hook. 
and that color, these colors are just absolutely spectacular. Wow, I messed that stitch up pretty bad right here. <laughs> I don't know what I did right here, but it's okay for the purposes of this little test, but that is so pretty. I do wish there was a little bit more stitch definition, but actually it's okay because it really does look beautiful. It, it feels more like this has some wool in it, but it is 100% acrylic. That is just absolutely spectacular, beautiful. I get it. I get why this yarn is so popular. I get why I see so many patterns featuring this yarn. It really is beautiful. And I think that these colors are just, they're spectacular. It feels so nice in your hand. It feels like a more expensive yarn than it actually is. Honestly, I can't think of any cons right now only pros. This next yarn is one that I am so excited to test and it is Premier Puzzle. I ended up taking two skeins of this. There were only two skeins and I took both of them because I want to make this blanket that's right here on the cover. It's actually a knitted blanket, but I need this. This would look so pretty in my living room. This is the color Crossword. It's a number five bulky weight yarn. I paid $5.98 for this skein at Walmart, but when I looked on the Premier website, there it was $7.99. So I thought that was really interesting that you can get really good prices at Walmart. Although Premier does have a lot of different sales and coupons, but if you're just in the store, just know that you might get a good deal at Walmart. I mean, they are known for having good deals, so that makes sense. Premier Puzzle has an average of 4.8 stars and over 790 reviews. The recommended hook size is six millimeters, so let's test it out. I'm already loving how this feels in my hands. I love that they've twisted that really pretty clay color with the white in there. Can you see that twist in the yarn? It's really pretty. I love this. I just think it looks so pretty. It feels so nice. Yeah, that's really pretty. I'm not surprised that I love this yarn. Number one, the pros are that this is just a really beautiful color. It's very modern looking. It feels really nice. The price was good. Um, I have no cons. I really want to make that Marlowe throw that's on the cover of the label there. It is a knitted pattern, but I just think this would look perfect. I've been looking for a blanket to put in my living room, and I think this one would be perfect. This next item is one that I'm excited to try. It's not specific to crocheters, but I think that if it's good, it might be really beneficial for us. This is the Creative Options. This is their small rack system, and it's pretty big. I paid $19.97 for this. It's also got a handle so you can carry it around, and there are two sections to this rack system. So it has the little top here that opens up. I would use this for scissors. You could put crochet hooks in here. Then in the front part, there is this section and it folds down. And what you see inside are four different small trays. And when you pull them out, they have the little clasps here and these are further divided into smaller sections. But one thing I found was these smaller little dividers, and then you can divide these sections even further. So if you want really small little sections in here, you can customize this. I use project bags and I have scissors and I have embroidery floss and stitch markers. It's all just in a jumbled mess in my little project bag. And I love them and they're so pretty, but it's not super organized. And sometimes I have to look for my yarn needle or I'm searching around for a stitch marker, but this could keep it all super organized. So I'm really excited about this one. These next items are ones that I have been so excited to try. And ever since I heard that they even existed, I've been chomping at the bit to get my hands on them. This is the Pioneer Woman's Crochet Collection that is exclusively at Walmart. I have been looking forward to this for some time now because I have been such a fan of Reed Drummond, the Pioneer Woman, for so long. I love her recipes, her TV show. I even have her mugs in my kitchen as we speak. I got four different skeins of yarn and I got two different crochet hook sets. Now, the thing that I already am loving about this is that 
These have her signature colors. She always has bright, vibrant floral colors, and that really comes through with the packaging and these yarn colors. But the one thing that I thought was really strange is that this collection was not where all of the other yarn was. It was kind of tucked away in the craft section, and I almost, I know that I passed it by several times when I was just walking through the aisles. And finally, as I was leaving, I thought, I'm just gonna go down down one more aisle and let me just see if they have any Pioneer Woman stuff here. And there it was. And I thought, wow, you guys really aren't displaying this. This is not a big priority here. So I was confused by that. But we're going to start with the Pioneer Woman yarn. And this is a number three weight, 100% acrylic yarn. I got the solid colors blue and coral, and I got the variegated colors and coral stripes and brilliant blooms. They have an average of 4.4 stars and over 100 reviews on the Walmart website. And I paid $3 per skein. The recommended crochet hook size is five millimeters, so let's give it a try. I'm not going to use the Pioneer Woman crochet hooks yet because I want to reduce the variables here and I wanna make sure that I'm testing the yarn on its own merits. So I'm just going to use the dots crochet hooks because I know how they work. Hmm. Wow. Oof. I am surprised. This really feels like a cheap yarn. I hate to say that because I really wanted to like this yarn. It's already fuzzing as I'm using it. It feels kind of flimsy. The colors are really pretty, but honestly, I'm, I'm surprised. I am surprised. Wow. I mean, $3 is a good price, but I honestly thought that this was going to be better. I, I have her mugs. I've... I've really enjoyed those. They're very nice quality. I'm just gonna make a few more stitches here, but this is just not what I thought it was gonna be. Oh man, that's disappointing. And I don't know if you can see over here, the color change is, is that doesn't look good. That's very disappointing. Oh man, I really wanted to love this yarn. I got two different crochet hook sets and I've had several people ask for me to review these. After trying the yarn, I'm really hoping that these are better because the yarn was quite disappointing. Those are so pretty. Oh, I'm crossing my fingers that these are good. Oh, look how pretty those are. They feel pretty nice. This is a harder plasticky kind of handle right here. I will say this though, where's the size of the crochet hook? Okay, is it somewhere on here that I'm not noticing? Do you see it anywhere? Am I missing it anywhere? Wow, okay, I don't see the size. Let me try this one. Oh my goodness, there's no size on these crochet hooks anywhere. Okay, so I'm assuming that this is a six millimeter. Box says 2.5 millimeter to six millimeter. Oh, this would absolutely drive me nuts. 2.53, 3.54, 4 4.55, 5.56. 5 okay, so this is six, so this must be a 5.5, but unless you just kept them in the original packaging or marked them somehow, there is nowhere on this where it tells you what size they are. That's not good. I'm going to use this Premier Puzzle yarn because I really like how this feels. The hooks themselves are pretty nice. I was a little bit worried, but the metal feels pretty smooth especially with this puzzle yarn. But the fact that there's no size on these anywhere, I do not like that. And there's nothing to differentiate each one of these from the other ones. Like, you know, some crochet hooks, they'll come in different colors. Each color is a different size, but these are all exactly the same. That is crazy. I wonder why they missed that. That was a big design error right there. The next one we're going to try is this 25 piece Pioneer Woman set and it comes with 16 steel crochet hooks, eight aluminum crochet hooks, and this little carrying case. That is very pretty. I do like this. Oh, it's got a little butterfly on the zipper. That's very pretty. Okay, so these are some really standard just metal crochet hooks. So these are the steel and these are the aluminum. Oh, wow. Holy moly. 
This is a 0.75 millimeter crochet hook. Wow, that's if you're using thread. That is the smallest crochet hook I have ever seen in my life. Wow, if you're doing any kind of doilies or micro crochet, wow, wow, wow. Okay, so the largest crochet hook in this set is the 3.5 with the steel hooks and then 0.75. And then you've got in the aluminum, this is a 3. Point, what? A 3.125 millimeter. That's interesting. 3.125. It says a D3. Okay, interesting. This one's a 3 .5, 3.5, 3.75, 4.25, 5.25, 5.75, and 6.5. Those are some different size crochet hooks. I, I don't I don't usually see a 5.75 millimeter crochet hook. You'll see 5.5 or 6. That's interesting. So I'm going to test out this 5.75 just right here on our little puzzle yarn. Oof. Ooh, 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 ooh. No. I'll tell you right now, I do not like this aluminum. Can you see that drag? Listen. That's, that does not feel good. <laughs> no. So I'm going to try the steel hook. I'm not going to use this with it though. I'll try this with the mandala yarn and just see because it's a much thinner yarn. This has a really, really short handle compared with the dot hook. This is a two millimeter. Look at the size difference. This little short crochet hook size, I, that, that one is, that's not really my favorite here. It's smooth. I, w I will give it that. It's, it's much smoother than the aluminum. The aluminum is awful, but oof, I do not like this little tiny short handled crochet hook. That was disappointing. I really expected more from the Pioneer Woman yarns and the hooks. I thought they were going to be fantastic. Now, these little floral crochet hooks were actually pretty nice, but the fact that there is nowhere on here what size this crochet hook is, that's not a good design feature to me. All in all, I'm pretty disappointed. I think the yarn is pretty, no, I don't like it at all. There's pretty colors, but the yarn quality itself is it's pretty bad. And it hurts me to say that because I am such a fan of the Pioneer Woman. <sighs> it feels like somebody who doesn't crochet designed this stuff. That's really what it feels like. And they thought we can just make something cheap. We can slap Pioneer Woman's face on it and we'll sell a bunch of it. And that's not good. Okay, so let's run through really quick lickety split each one of the different items. The mainstays, acrylic, pass. The peaches and cream, original, hard pass and I just turned my light out. The mainstays 100% cotton, thumbs up. Red Heart Scrubby, hard, hard pass. The Premier Bloom Chunky Big Yarn, thumbs up. Two thumbs up. Lion Brand Mandala, thumbs up. Premier Puzzle, thumbs up. Double thumbs up. I wish I had a third thumb and I would thumb it up too. The Creative Options Small Rack Organizer, thumbs up, double thumbs up. Let me see if I can get another one up, yes. Pioneer Woman Yarn, no bueno. Pass, hard pass. Very disappointing hard pass. The Pioneer Woman Aluminum and Steel Hooks, pass. The Pioneer Woman Sweet Rose Crochet Hook Set, I'm on the fence about this one. I'm, I'm kind of mid. If you don't mind that they don't have any of the sizes on them anywhere, they're an okay crochet hook. But for me, I'm gonna say it's a pass. And I really hate to say that because they are really pretty. <sighs> mm, that, that's disappointing. I hope you enjoyed today's video and make sure to enter the giveaway or get your 25% off coupon. But also let me know in the comment section if you have any crochet items from Walmart that you love or ones that you want to warn us about that we need to stay away from. I hope you have a great rest of your week. Stay safe and happy stitching.